ladies and gentlemen. This is another practical Minecraft tutorial. This is Soap the Great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build an automatic item transport system that uses a hopper minecart. This particular system uses two separate inventions by uh, individuals other than myself. The automatic filling station comes from JL2579's Industrial Furnace Array and the automatic emptying station comes from Impulse SV. I will put a link to both individuals in the description below. Let's take a look at how this works. As you notice in my inventory I have a stack of 16 snowballs and what we're going to do is we're going to put that in the input chest here and you see it starts filling up the hopper minecart. Let's take a look at how many got in there. Ten. Okay. And then we're going to send it on its way. We're going to stop it again just to take a look at what happens. Notice there was a bit. It took a little bit of time. We should see ten down here. Yep. Now let's watch what happens when it goes back. Okay. Finished. It should come back. And we'll see if any more come into the system. Let's see how many we have over here. All 16. Okay. Well, that's good. And it's a bit unexpected. Um, in some cases, for example, if you use an item that stacks to 64, what you may find is that not all of the items will go all the way to the end. Instead what you'll have is some stick here in the hopper minecart until the next time you fill this up. And that is a bit of a built-in design flaw and it makes this not 100% efficient. But uh, one of the reasons why it does not matter uh, in my case is because I would have this attached to a farm that's always producing the same item or similar items over and over. And if you have just a few, uh, say reeds or carrots or something like that in here, it's not really going to be that big of a deal. Another thing to keep in mind is that this system is rather short. Notice there's only two powered rail through the whole thing, uh, and that minecart does not travel that far. For such a short distance, I would normally say just use hoppers. But what I'm envisioning here is that this system will be very far from this system. And uh, in that case, you would be looking at a lot of hoppers, which is pretty resource intensive, and it can generate a lot of lag. So with that in mind, uh, let's take a look at how to build this, okay? All right, in this chest are the things you're gonna need. First, you'll need seven blocks of choice furnace, piece of dirt, we'll use that to program the furnace, a couple of chests, iron bar, obviously the minecart, we'll put that away for later, three comparators, two repeaters, hopper, sticky piston, and some powered rail, detector rail, and regular rail, and that's for the track to go between. So first what we're going to do, make sure we have everything in our inventory that we need, for the end station. And we're going to start with that first. So you take a chest and then you come around to the back of the chest and you're going to put that hopper into it. And the way you do that is by holding shift and then right clicking the place. On top of the hopper, I've already got it in my hot bar, you're going to place the a piece of powered rail and the way you do that is the same way you did with the hopper on the chest. Hold shift and then right click. And we're going to carry the line of rail. We're done with the powered rail for now. We're going to carry it this way. Okay. Now, on the opposite side of the rail, you're going to take a repeater, nope, a comparator, and point it out to one of those blocks of choice. On the other side of that block, you place a redstone torch, 
On top of that, we'll then place another block. On top of the first block, right here, you're going to place a repeater facing towards the rail and the hopper. And between the rail and this repeater, we're going to place another block. And that is the ending station. So what will happen is items will travel through this hopper. It will activate this comparator, which will then depower the redstone torch. And currently this redstone torch is powering this block which is powering the repeater, which is powering this block, which is powering the uh, powered rail here. Okay, so when there's an item flowing through the hopper, this will turn off, so all of this line will turn off, and that will keep the minecart there. Now let's move on to the automatic filling station. Alright, so I've carried the line from the automatic ending station over and you didn't need to see that so I just did that off camera so next up what we're gonna need so we can get rid of the hopper and bring in the detector rail so we'll put detector rail there power rail here we'll put a one of those blocks of choice and then another power rail and then we can get rid of that one okay and I'm just gonna put another block on top Okay, so that's our rail configuration. We'll put a chest here, and the hopper minecart will go under that. Okay, out from the detector rail, we'll put a comparator, and we'll right click on it to put it in subtract mode. Facing out to this side, we're going to place another comparator. Scratch that. Let's place it into this comparator. Okay, so we want the output of this comparator going into the side input of this comparator. And then we take a furnace. And this is the tricky part. So what we're going to do is we're going to place one item in here. And so that sends a signal of strength 1 through this comparator into this comparator. So what we're going to be doing is measuring the output from here. And I'll explain that a little bit more once we get the thing all finished out of the subtraction mode Maybe we don't need that anymore out of the subtraction mode comparator we're going to place a redstone repeater and I think it's on to to take delay uh, we will find out real shortly and then you place a block of choice and then on top of that you're going to put a redstone torch. Now, against the redstone torch and facing you right here, facing towards the rail, we place a sticky piston and it should extend. And then what we're going to do is build up a little bit of a tower here, right there. You can get rid of that block or leave it, whatever your preference is. And we'll place the iron bar there. And technically we're done. So let's place the hopper minecart just take a look okay so that is now in what we want to do is place some items and that may not all fill up okay that goes on its way and it's going to drop off all of the items until it's done all right so there we go. That is the automatic fill station. Just to give you a note about what is happening here. This minecart is partially on the detector rail, so the detector rail can read its contents. And it's going to put out a signal strength in proportion to how full it is. And the wiki for Minecraft has uh, a, a lot more information about how that's calculated. And I will put a link in the description it's on the article for the comparator, so I'll put that link in the description along with the uh, links to the two tutorials for uh, Impulse SV and JL2579. Additionally, I'm going to provide this world download for you, and I'll put that link in the description as well. So if you want to play along with that, 
all of the ingredients that you'll need will be in this chest and that should be all done all right thank you for watching if you enjoyed this feel free to put a like on it if you really enjoyed and want to see more subscribe as always i invite your questions comments suggestions and i do thank you for watching i will talk to you next time bye bye